the largest marathon in the world, with more than 51,000 runners making their way through the five boroughs, each one with a different story to tell. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth has one of them. I'm anxious. I'm a little bit nervous, but you know when you start and you're going, all those thoughts and that anxiety just disappears. Stu Fisher is preparing to run the first marathon of his life at the age of 66. That alone is an inspiration, but what's truly remarkable, he's been running for less than two years. It was very difficult at first. I would maybe go 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and I'd have to stop. Stu thought about running for decades, but it wasn't until just last year that he was motivated to get started. I said, you know, times are wasting, and I know I can, so I, um, I chose to start. This father of five will be running the New York City Marathon with his youngest daughter, Stephanie, who's also a first time. Everyone tells me, don't focus on your pace on your first marathon. Just get to that finish line. But I'm a little bit competitive, because I would like to make it uh, less than five hours. I, if I did four hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds, I would be elated. Stu wants to share his story to inspire other people his age to get up and get moving. I want others to, to know that you can start at any age. Just because you say you're older now and you missed a boat, there is no boat. It's a continuous train. You just jump on. He will be running to raise money for NORD, the National Organization for Rare Disorders, in honor of two of his nieces. There are 30 million people in the country with rare diseases, 20 million of which are children. Each step Stu takes during the marathon will bring him closer to his goal of helping others. I'm ready to go and uh, looking forward to having a ball. It's, uh, it's going to be a great experience.